I did some billing and coding myself, which, you know, were the worst few years working in the practice for sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know, then you come back and like I said in the beginning, you adjust to being a, not only a doctor, but then having staff that all looks up to you and you have to tell them where to go, what you need. And so that you automatically are, you know, that, that higher up office person. And then when you try to train and manage them, oh my goodness, it's just like, it's this whole new world of how do I keep these people on track? It's like you're teaching them this, this course of how to do all things optometric. And it's especially hard when you have a new hire. Um, you know, recurrent training is one thing and everybody should, should brush up on their skills and that's why CPO is so nice. It gives you, you know, that that marker, that measurement and something for them to work towards uh, the next level of things. But for a new hire, I think we forget just how vast this optometry world really is. And you have to think back to like, when did I not know anything about glasses or prescription? Yeah. And it's just it's kind of mind boggling. And uh, yeah, baby steps are for sure what comes to mind you start from nothing and it's a lot of work yeah i mean it is it, i think that's the what we've really seen over the last year and, and we, we've got a good team but i think um like really trying to pick apart if you were going to teach somebody who has no idea about optics has no idea about lenses or lensometry or you know measurements and all this and like really teach them the craft of opticianry what would you, how would you do that? And, and, you know, even just like describing what you're supposed to see within the Myers of a lensometer uh, and showing them that stuff, I think um, that that could be super helpful. And how many of us really take the time to sit down and do that? Uh, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. 